yesterday. Uh, can you kind of tell me what we learned about what we're going to be doing with the gingerbread houses and anything, Bailey? We're going to make an environmentally friendly gingerbread house. Anything you guys want to add to it? There are three types of energy, solar energy, wind energy, and hydro energy. Solar energy can be captured with solar panels, wind energy can be captured with wind turbines, and hydro energy can be captured with dams. So you have a general background on what you'll be doing. Uh, and then creating the coolest gingerbread houses that East Norton has ever seen. Okay? So today, what we're going to do, I'm going to introduce you to two people here. One is Mr. Soul, who's filming you. And you're going to be on video tape all week long. So be nice. Hey, I'm too Okay, so get used to being on the camera for the next seven days. What we're going to talk about today with, with Green Building. This is, this is our home. It's our only home. What we have to do when we build buildings and live on this planet is all contained just on our own planet. So, so sustainability means trying to use what we have at hand while leaving something for future generations to use down the road. So when you guys come into your home or your bedroom or into the classroom here and you turn on a light switch, where does that, and the light comes on, do you know where that, where the energy is coming from to, to make that light? Go ahead. Solar panels? Sometimes, but in our area, not so much. Anybody else? Right, and how, how is it, how's the electric company making their power? They probably use renewable resources sometimes and fossil fuels. Fossil fuels mostly, right, good answer. Right, so our electric companies, they have, mostly they burn coal and they burn natural gas and they burn some oil to make the light, uh, electricity to turn on your lights, in some cases to heat your homes and other things like that, fossil fuels. So. Buildings are actually the number one user of energy across the board, more than cars, more than industry, more than factories, you just power and light buildings, your homes, your schools. So let's go back and look at nature and see what nature does. Here's a great image of a, of a nature's building. It's a tree. And the tree does everything what we might want to start to think about when we do buildings. It has its own power generator. All the leaves are taking the light from the sun turning it into energy that the, that the tree can use to stay alive. It's pouring water from the ground to mix with that sunlight to create the food that it needs to, to sustain itself. When it uh, drops its leaves into the soil, it's replenishing the soil so that it can reuse that, that, those nutrients to keep itself alive. It's its own contained system. There's a program now that does this for buildings and it's called LEED. And it stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And that's one of the number one programs that's being used in the United States and starting to go around the world to define what a green building is. So there's five categories that LEED uh, uses to say what, what is a green building. And it wants you to look at the site, how the building sits in the site. Are you cutting down a lot of trees? Are you putting, it, uh, putting in a lot of parking? Things like that, we'll get into more detail. How the building uses water how the building uses energy, how the building uses materials, so this ties into what you're doing in your class, and what the indoor environment is like in your building. Who knows what this picture is? How many people have heard of a green roof? Have you? What is it? It's a roof that has like solar panels or something on top of it. Close, close. It's a roof that has plants on top of it, so you're on the right track. So what it does is when you have just a plain roof, like you have on your house with shingles, when the, when the rainwater hits that, it goes off the roof and then it goes onto the ground somewhere. And sometimes it causes flooding and other sorts of things. When it's on, when you can do planting on top of your roof, the roof will actually absorb the rainwater rather than spreading it out and causing some flooding issues. So that's, the gr that's a roof? This is a roof top here and it looks like a nice open meadow. And the nice thing about this project, this building is actually 80 years old. And then energy, who, you were talking about wind energy earlier, right? So here's a big wind turbine. But there's other ideas that we can think about how we generate power for the, for the house. And you guys already know what they are. Who wants to say, say them again? Go ahead. Wind energy, solar energy, and hydro energy. Hydro energy, great. Okay. Anybody ever been in here? 
that's the one, Home Depot, good. So yeah, so when you go into Home Depot with your parents and see all these things on the shelves, you know, where does it all come from? It's got to come from somewhere, especially all the wood. Bamboo grows really fast. Sometimes it can grow as, as much as 18 inches in one day. So it's fast growing product. So you can harvest this and make building material out of it. And then by the time you're done making the material, there's new bamboo back in place so you can keep reusing it. So you can use it for floors, you can use it for table legs, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of options for that. And one of the last things is to have a nice indoor environment, you want to make sure you have nice views to the outside. Because a lot of times, you guys would probably be out, rather be outside than inside, especially when it's snowing, right? Out sledding or snowball fights and that kind of stuff. So if you have to be in here, it's nice to also be able to see outside and see what you're missing. <laughs> so that's one of the main important things. Rather than out of gingerbread, these models are made out of cardboard, but it's the same idea. They're building villages here to try and incorporate all the different things that make up a sustainable building. So this particular project, it's the same one, just two different views. Anybody take a look here and tell me what they see that's based on what I talked about? Go ahead. On the tops of the bigger houses, they have solar panels. That's right. Anything, anything else? Go ahead. Those boxes, those white boxes look like there's water, the water barrels. Mm -hmm. So think about all those things. You guys do your project. What are you going to create? So this world is open for your options. So hopefully I gave you some good ideas and be excited to see what it looks like.